Hi and welcome to a Praise in the Morning devotion on the Psalms and today's devotion on Psalm 32. I'm going to read through the Psalm, I'm going to make use of the, the cellar that we find in this Psalm. Uh, there are three of them that divide the Psalm up into four sections. And we use them to read, pause and respond. Because the Psalms are here to help us not just to listen and to read and to understand the masculines are here and are there as a teaching uh, Psalm, an understanding Psalm. That they're there so that we can respond in the conversation to God. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to read from NIV, uh, read the section to the seller and then short prayer. In response. Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me, my strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Lord, help us to know if our sins are covered, help us to know what it is that might drain us of our energy and our soul and our spirit. Help us not to be counted with the ungodly and those that trespass against you, Lord. Verse 5. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Selah. Lord, we know that we're sinners that need your grace. Let us not be those that continue in sin. Turn our hearts for forgiveness and do your work in our lives. Amen. Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you while you may be found. Surely when the mighty waters rise, they will not reach him. You are my hiding place and will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance, Selah. Lord, help us to pray. What wonderful words. That you are my hiding place. That you can protect me, and that you can surround me with songs of deliverance. What wonderful thought. Help us to turn our prayer to you. And find you as we when we can. Amen. Verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and bridle, or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad, you righteous. Sing, all you who are upright in heart. Amen. It ends with a rejoicing in the Lord. A continuation of the hope of the Lord's unfailing love. We heard it in the psalm before. The unfailing love of the Lord in the besieged city. Wonderful love of the Lord. Here it is, in time of, as it were, reflection upon your own heart and your own soul, your own sin, to turn and to pray to God for forgiveness, to ask him to release you from the guilt of it. That's why Jesus died upon the cross, to, for the forgiveness of our sins, to set our hearts free so that we might be able to rejoice in the Lord, in verse 11, and be glad and sing. 
Amen.